These are the stories we think are not getting enough attention. Ad Astra Per Aspera, that means a rough road leads to the stars. It's also the title of a new Kennedy Space Center tribute to the crew of Apollo 1. The three-man crew was killed a half century ago today during what was supposed to be a routine countdown simulation. Now, because of their sacrifice, NASA was able to pave a safer and much more reliable road to the moon. Apollo astronauts Roger Chaffee, Edward White, and Gus Grissom lose their lives in a tragic flash fire aboard their grounded space capsule. It was to be the first manned flight of NASA's famed Apollo program. But 50 years ago today, during a routine countdown simulation at Cape Canaveral, Apollo 1 ended in disaster. The capsule was filled with pure oxygen. The hatch door latches fastened tight when a spark erupted into flames. Astronaut Ed White shouted fire in the cockpit, but seconds later, all three astronauts inside perished. On January 27, 1967, my little eight-year-old world was torn apart. On that evening, my mother had to tell my brother, Stephen, and me that our daddy was never coming home. That daddy, Roger Chaffee, was just 31, a rookie astronaut who had not yet been to space. As an adult, his daughter Cheryl spent 33 years working at NASA to help others achieve that dream. The hard lessons learned from the Apollo 1 disaster were applied to future missions as the U.S. raced the Soviets to the moon. Redesigned hatches, less flammable materials, and a safer mix of oxygen and nitrogen allowed men such as Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin to take off safely and land safely on the moon in 1969. One giant leap for mankind. Today, Aldrin tweeted a reminder. We lost the Apollo 1 crew, but we all knew the risks, so we pressed on, and we were willing to take the risks so their sacrifice wasn't in vain.